guys welcome back to my channel my name is Stacy uh, I've got a little book haul here I've been collecting books here and there over the last few months it's not a huge one by any means but it is plenty of books to keep me busy I'm actually trying to cut down on buying physical books because I really do prefer to read on my e-reader um, it's just easier for me but if I can find uh, books that I'm interested in for cheaper in a physical copy, I'll get that because really it comes down to price for me. I want the cheapest I can possibly get. I'm sorry, my rooster's growing. I am down to just one rooster now, guys. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my rooster saga, but I had five originally. And with the help of some friends, I am now down to one, which we are going to try to keep him uh, just to see if he can fertilize some eggs for later because I really would like to hatch some baby chicks of my own uh, but we'll see how annoying he gets <laughs> so um, sorry if he's crowing through this video he doesn't typically crow very much so hopefully it won't be too bad all right first I'm gonna start with three books I found um, this whole series well it's a prequel to the left behind books um, and there's three of them. So there's The Rising, The Regime, and The Rapture. I'm not sure what order these go in. Uh, but these are from Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. I read the Left Behind books when they first were coming out. Like over 20 years ago. 25 years ago maybe is when they first came out. Um, and everybody like on the planet was reading the books. And I read them back when I really wasn't a Christian, so I, I honestly don't remember much from them and I don't know if they're biblical or not, but I saw these and thought I would give them a go. And if I like these, then I would read the Left Behind books as well, because I do still own my original ones. Then I picked up this mystery, The House of Silk by Anthony Horowitz. He writes Sherlock Holmes stories and y'all know I love Sherlock Holmes. So uh, I have read a book by him years ago and I can't remember which one it was. So it, it might have been this one, but if it was, I, I just don't remember it. And I think I liked it. <laughs> and Miriam um, likes his books too. I will leave her channel linked down below because we have very similar reading tastes. So if you like the books that I read on my channel, you will definitely like the stuff that she reads. Um, so yeah, I was excited to see that. This one is historical Christian fiction called Katora. Katora. I think, I think her name is Katora, uh, by Lisa T. Bergren. And I first heard of this from Holly. I'll leave her channel link down below too, because I call her my book twin because we are very, very close in what we enjoy. But she mentioned this one for our, uh, Christian reading Christian book club um, one month and it didn't get picked and I looked it up when she had mentioned it and I was like oh that sounds really good I think I would like that one and then I found this one at McKay's and it was only a dollar thirty so definitely cheaper than I would have paid for it on uh, the Kindle so had to get it looking forward to that one I think I'm really gonna like it this one is about a girl in 1772 She's British. Her father owns estates in the Caribbean, and she ends up in the Caribbean. I'm not going to read the whole back, but this actually might be a really good one to read during the summertime because I'm sure it's very hot where she's at. Um, this next one is The Cost of Discipleship by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was um, martyred in the 1940s, I think, by Hitler in Germany. Not not personally by Hitler, but um, he was martyred, and he I want to say he was a yeah he was a Lutheran pastor, and he wrote all kinds of things, lots of things. And I haven't read anything from him, and I've been dying to get my hands on stuff from him for a long time. This I picked up. At McKay's also this was $4.99 so this was pretty expensive for a Christian book at McKay's because normally their stuff is relatively cheap 
Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to get in that. And whoever had it before me actually um, underlined stuff and annotated in there. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that person had to say. Uh, then I got The Diplomat's Wife by Pan Genoff. I just bought another book by her at a library book sale, uh, The Lost Girls of Paris. I haven't read it yet, uh, but I think I'll like it. This is another historical fiction. I don't think, I don't think it's Christian fiction. This one takes place in 1945. Uh, about a girl who barely escaped the brutality of a Nazi concentration camp where she was imprisoned for her work with the Polish resistance. Oh, this is why I got this book because um, I'm Polish. Well, not me personally, but my ancestors, my relatives um, came from Poland on both sides of my family. So uh, I saw Polish Poland in here and I definitely wanted to pick it up because because honestly, I haven't read much to do with um, Poland or set in Poland or about Polish people. I'm saying that word an awful lot, but yeah, I think it'll be good. Then because I recently picked up the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes in a certain edition, I really liked the edition because of um, the font and the way the book felt, <laughs> not because of the cover. I really don't like the covers, um, but I really enjoyed the reading experience of that particular uh, book publication is that what you would say I think anyway so then I went so then I had to pick up the other Sherlock books that they had part of the same series so I got um, the adventures of Sherlock Holmes and the return of Sherlock Holmes these covers make me crazy these are so like 70s psychedelic to me <laughs> Like they're just an acid trip. And this is not what I think of when I think of, uh, you know, Sherlock. I don't like the covers, but I really like, um, I don't know, the floppiness and the font. So that one out and I picked up both of those. I think those were $5 a piece at Books A Million. I also found this Sherlock Holmes, the case book of Sherlock Holmes. And this is the cover. This is exactly what I'm talking about. All Sherlock Holmes books should have a cover similar to this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this was $2.99 at McKay's. I haven't read any of these stories. I have read all of these. Um, and I don't think I've read all of these. I've kind of uh, like went all over the place when reading Sherlock, just kind of picked and choose whatever, but I, I didn't read like straight through one of his books like that. And I also picked up this uh, what well, was this a classic it's from 1989 anyway it's brave new world revisited by aldous huxley aldous huxley is that how you say his name i've never heard of this but i loved brave new world i read it for the first time last year the year before not too long ago um it was very disturbing but i really like um well they call this more utopian but i i like uh, more dystopian type stories they really wig me out but um, they really make you think and so this digs deeper into the topics that are brought out from a brave new world so it talks about overpopulation um, propaganda in a democratic society propaganda under a dictatorship brainwashing and again whoever had this they marked off certain things they like underline stuff um subconscious persuasion this book will probably give me nightmares <laughs> not gonna lie but i really do like that sort of thing i just found this book yesterday at the savers thrift store Savers is my favorite thrift store they have the best uh selection of just about everything although they're book prices have gone up. It didn't used to be this expensive. So I got this book for $2.99. This is More Murder, Most Cozy. And that's hard for me to say. Um, but it has Cozy Mysteries by Agatha Christie, P.D. James, Ruth Wendell, Melba Marlet, a bunch of people I've never heard of. But I got it because um, Agatha Christie is on here. And I've been wanting to read some P.D. James because I've 
heard a lot about that author and I've never read anything by them. So yeah, I am looking forward to picking that up maybe in like October time frame. Then I grabbed a biblical fiction by Bodie and Brock. So how do you say their name? Does anybody know how to say that? The Thony? Thony? Thony. Thony. I, I don't know. Um, super famous. <laughs> They're very famous in the Christian fiction world. They have a ton of books, lots of different series. This one is the first book from the AD Chronicles called First Light. And this one, it looks like this one is set in Jerusalem right before Jesus comes. Yeah, because people are talking about the new the messiah coming so this is part of a series i don't have the other books i'll read this at some point in my life and see if i want to continue on but i really do like biblical fiction and the last one that i picked up i think i found this one at goodwill also how to do it <laughs> how to do it amanda and oshina made me do it uh it's the testament by john grisham they speak so highly of this book um I think I have read some John Grisham maybe back when I was in like high school because he was super popular. Did he write The Firm? I think he wrote The Firm. You know, the movie that has Tom Cruise in it and he's a lawyer um, from like the 90s. I think, I think I read that because of the movie and maybe something else. Oh, it looks like this at least partly takes place in Virginia where I am. Um, it has to do with an old man and his will and, um, trying to find the girl he wants to leave his money to in a Brazilian jungle. I'm literally just kind of skimming through it. Um, so yeah, I love adventure stories. And so it sounds like there's some sort of adventure going on in here. I'm excited. I really want to read it. Those girls loved it could not say enough about it so i definitely need to know what all the hype is about let me know if you have read any of these and if i should prioritize any of them over the others anyway i hope you all are having a great day and i will see y'all soon bye